Hello from the hangar here at Biggin Hill, and there is finally some good news. As you can see behind me, Dave and the engineers here at Shipping and Airlines are finally reattaching Oscar Romeo's engine. In fact, most of the work has been done over the last day or so. Uh, right now, they're attaching the baffle rubbers to the, uh, the baffles on the engine. They've got a few more things to connect up, the exhaust and uh, the uh, ignition harness, um, and then we're going to be pretty much ready to test run the engine. The baffle rubbers are used to help create a seal in the engine compartment to improve the air cooling in flight. While we've been waiting for the engine to return from the overhaul workshop, the engineers here at Biggin Hill have rubbed down and repainted the engine frame. New engine mounts have been fitted. The new engine comes with a new starter motor and a new fuel pump. There's nothing wrong with the electric fuel pump so the old one stays on. Our alternator was fine too, so that's not new either. The magnetos were only fitted last summer, as was the new ignition harness, so these aren't new this time around. There really isn't an awful lot left for the engineers to do here and they'll be ready for a ground test and then a flight test very soon. So the engineers have just given me uh, the service instruction which gives us details of how to test the engine and do the flight test. So there's a ground test first of all, start up, check temperatures and pressures, run at 1000 RPM, then up to 15 RPM for 15 minutes and so on. So the engineers will do that test for us. Then there's a flight test that has to take place. Uh, basically take off, um, uh, full power, decrease power to 75% and continue at 75%, which will be quite high RPM for two hours. In the second of those two hours, I think we have to vary the power settings between 65% power and 75% power. Then the airplane has to come back to the hangar. The, um, the oil filter has to come off to check that there hasn't been some kind of catastrophic failure inside, lots, lots of metal for example. And then after that we pretty much run it um, as normal for the next 50 hours, but we usually run it at a higher RPM to increase the pressures inside the cylinders to make sure everything uh, seats uh, firmly so that there isn't uh, the symptom of glazing which can lead to the cylinders having to come off again and lots more money. So basically you don't um, treat it with kick gloves, you run it uh, at pretty high RPMs for the first 50 hours uh, to get it uh, run in basically, like you perhaps used to do with old cars, except we're not limited to 50 miles an hour. We actually run this quite hard um, for the first 50 hours. I can't wait to get flying in Oscar Romeo again. This process has been extremely frustrating and makes me question whether a new off-the-shelf engine should have been our first option. That said, while that might have been quicker, both people who've had factory new builds or overhauled engines have had problems further down the line. At least our aircraft has been grounded over the winter. A summer layoff would have been almost unbearable. So, finally some good news. It's been an awfully long wait for the engine to come back, much, much longer than anyone ever predicted, and that was caused by the fact that Obviously the engine was in a far worse state than we uh, envisaged. The crankcase had to go off to America to be reconditioned. Um, that took a month, that took us up till Christmas. Uh, then we unfortunately found out that the crankshaft that we had ordered, there was a waiting list for that, so we had to wait a long time for that. Then there was this last minute thing where there was 
Lycoming put a stop on the engine being released. It had been rebuilt, but, it, but there was a stop on it being released because there was some query over an engine that had failed during testing somewhere. But uh, that turned out to be fine, so the engine was released to us. And then, believe it or not, that wasn't the end of it. We then got a service bulletin on the brand new magnetos that we only had fitted at the end of last summer and they had to come off and be checked and tested as well. Um, so after all that, the engine is virtually ready to be tested now, and we should be up in the air uh, in the next few days, and I'll be bringing you details of how that all goes, and hopefully we'll be off on more Flying Reporter adventures before long. Thank you for watching. Be sure uh, to subscribe to the YouTube channel for updates. You can sign up for my free mailing list, my newsletter, which will update you whenever any new video is about to be published. And if you check out my website, there are ways to subscribe to premium features, you can through that check my GPS tracks and get exclusive updates as well.